This is kind of cool. You guys ever had a Taco Bell breakfast? I just had um, one of their burrito waffle things and oh god. I'm not feeling so good. So I don't know if this is going to be a good idea to go for a ride after this. So if you don't know what that is, it's a um, freaking waffle taco thing. And then you can kind of see it right there. And then there's a quesadilla thing with a bunch of like hash browns and eggs in it. And I just ate a bunch of those and I feel horrible. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, look at that spicy chicken thing. Does that look like the font that Spicy 110 uses? <sighs> That's probably why we're so fat as Americans. Because we get to eat waffle tacos. Blah! How does something like that even come into existence? <laughs> Whoever came over that should be shot. What the fuck? Yeah. How's that? Impugment, impugment attorney parking. I love Jeebus! What's up, boss? What's I gonna actually talk about today? I was gonna talk about uh, going out and actually getting a bike and where the best place to actually get a bike is. Which in my opinion... Woo! Best place to get a bike is on Craigslist. If you can pay for it in cash because whatever happens with that bike when you don't want it anymore, you can pretty much sell it on Craigslist without losing any type of money uh, really at all. Now the other option is if you don't have the money to pay for it up in cash, is that you have to go to a dealership. And it's the same process as buying a car um, when you go to the dealership. So you're gonna have to finance it, do all that stuff, get full coverage insurance, all everything else. And if you drop it, um, well, then you kinda drop it and then that's it. And your brand new bike is kinda scratched up and messed up. So think of it as the first time of when you were, I don't know, 16 years old right and you just had gotten a um a car so think of it the same way you're probably going to drop it and fuck it up a little bit so i would not recommend buying a new bike i would definitely recommend if you can financially afford it uh go through and pay for it in full in cash and then if you mess it up then you mess it up and it's no big deal uh, but if you don't then you're kind of screwed there because well you gotta lean on something, right? You gotta pay the full amount of insurance. So, I mean, that's my recommendation. If you're getting into biking, you should have enough money set over. And then don't forget the other part, not just the cost of the bike, but um, think about your gear. Your gear is gonna cost some money as well. You're gonna need a helmet. You're gonna need a jacket. You're gonna need gloves. You're gonna need boots. And uh, I definitely recommend pants too. Depends on the uh, type of riding you're doing. But as always, I always recommend some pants. I mean, I recommend full gear, riding with it all the time. At least a jacket and a helmet. At least the minimum that you're gonna wanna get is a jacket and a helmet. And I don't even care what type of jacket it is. I mean, it could be, um, you know, a, a, a cheap type of jacket like the motocross ones with all the armor on it it's it's better than than nothing so definitely do that and then with your helmet buy once right because if you buy a uh, very very cheap helmet it's not like name brand or whatever you get into problems there because the helmet is either really heavy or it doesn't fit you right and your helmet should fit pretty snugly on your head like it should actually pinch your cheeks you should be able to put on your helmet swing your head around like this and your face should not move within the helmet what's going on back here never been up here before hey supermoto guys not only you can do this da 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 woohoo alright we're going to the ghetto s mall today you know it's the ghetto s mall when the train tracks fucking run through it uh, let's see what's over here What 
this thing? Why is this little thing blocked off? Do your job! Do your job! Ah, there you go. Helped you do your job, sewer drain. Let's see if I can fit in here. I need a parking spot. And it's kinda it's a little bit tight and no. Ah, I can't fit in there. Ah, Alright, I'm gonna have to find a different parking spot. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. This place is depressing as hell.